Okay, so I've got another customer engine here. A new customer. First time I've ever done an engine for this person. And the only reason I'm really doing this is because it's an engine I have not featured on my channel before. This is an OS. Wow, it's really wrapped here. OS 120AX. You're just going to have to take my word for it. Holy moly. Holy crap. Well, I was told it was an OS 120AX. But, damn. It's like hermetically sealed. Jeez. Okay. Maybe now we'll get to the engine. Oh, well, this is not a good thing. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to run this without enough uh, muffler. So, okay, let's uh, take a look at this thing. It's rough. It's dirty. Got pretty darn good compression, but man, this thing is just plain filthy. Well, it's going to be a real test of my cleaner to see if I can clean this engine up. Looks like it's a ringed engine, but it has what I feel is like a really, really good compression. I just don't know about if I'm going to be able to run this or not if I don't have an exhaust for it. So. Let me stop this right here before I even begin tearing this thing down just to see if I've even got an exhaust for it. carboned up motor. I have no idea how much runtime is on this thing, but I'd say it looks like quite a bit. What the hell is all over this thing? It's freaking filthy. O-ring seal. That's cool. Actually, it doesn't really look all that bad inside. The bearings don't look too bad. It just looks like it's just really nasty on the outside. Crankshaft looks really good in there. That thing's pretty filthy just like the rest of the engine. Okay, let's get some um, before and after pictures of this engine before cleaning and after cleaning. Hopefully I can get this thing cleaned up. It's pretty bad. Pretty dirty, I should say. The ring feels fine. It's free in the groove and the thing had good compression. Uh, this head yeah, is obviously pretty rough. I yanked that plug out. Rear bearing feels a little jiggly, but front felt fine. This carb, pretty dirty, and the crankshaft looks great. I mean, aside from a little bit of condition issues there, it's not in bad shape. But let's put this in the cleaner and see how it comes out. OK, 
Okay, so this uh, OS 120AX engine is out of the parts cleaner, and I want to show show the difference in these parts. So here's the head. Let me zoom in here a bit so we can see some of this better. It is not, I repeat, not 100% better. This thing had so much dried stuff on there and I just don't want to sit there with a brush or anything and just keep rubbing on this thing. This is a lot better than it was, but it's not 100% better. This thing had <coughs> a lot of varnish build up on it, but you'll see this case it looks pretty damn good. I mean again, up in this area there's still some stuff, but I mean it looks a ton better than it did now this is as clean as I got the piston the sides are also pretty clean I don't want to pull it out again at this moment but uh, so that's how the piston looks I think the only other thing that showed any kind of you know contamination or dirt on it was this carb and of course that was all just surface so that, that came perfectly clean this crankshaft is in beautiful shape. So I've got bearings on order for this engine and when they arrive I'll complete the reassembly. I contacted the owner he does not really have a stock exhaust for this engine so I'm just gonna have to try and make the exhaust from my Thunder Tiger 120 fit with just one screw it'll mount up it's not exactly the same size opening here but I can at least get one screw in there like I used it on the uh, Thunder Tiger or on the Tiger Shark 120 engine that's all I'm gonna be able to do <coughs> excuse me because I mean obviously I have to be able to run this engine to verify that the ring is still okay one of the complaints was that this engine had low compression well I when I opened it up I didn't find that this had low compression at all it felt like it had very good compression so after speaking to the owner he said it seems to lose power after it heats up so I'm not gonna make a decision on replacing a ring until I get the bearings in here and actually run it and see what happens during the course of a run so that's where we stand with this 120 AX